Uh, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shen Show. I am your host, Shadow Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, you know what? Today is Monday, September the 27th, 2021. Got a happy birthday shout out going out to Kim Menifee. So without further ado, uh, Menifee McBride, that is, Kim Menifee McBride. So without further ado, here's birthday song for you. Hey, Kim. Hey, I heard it's your birthday today. So, happy birthday, I'm going to say. You know, uh, you're one more year older today, so happy birthday to you, I say. I said, hey, Kim. Hey, I heard it's your birthday today. Why, that's another trip around the sun that you made. I hope you're enjoying your special day because, well, it's your happy birthday today, today. I hope you're a happy birthday day today. All right, all right, all right. Hey, Kim, uh, enjoy your birthday. Have many, many more, all right? Do me just that one little favor, okay? All right, then. Hey, got some Shin Show likes. Boy, there's a list of them now. Thank you, folks. I'm so glad that y'all have tuned in and decided to throw up some thumbs up because I really enjoy your support. I makes me keep doing what I do, all right? <laughs> How about that? Kimberly Ann. Uh, Jamie O'Driscoll, Martin Kelly, a.k.a. Smiley, that is. Doug Bell Bell, a.k.a. Steve Clary. And uh, Jerry Zier Oramish. And uh, McCaldo Rosemary. I think that's Rosemary McCaldo. Yes, sir. Rosemaria, that is. All right. And then there's my Shin Show sharer, which would be Mary Jalbuana, who shared the Shin Show. Actually, somebody else did, too. Jerry, uh, Zero uh, Ormisher, I thank you also for sharing the show. Because, hey, you know, the more people that get to see it, the better off I'll go. I'll get more and more and more likes. And I'm loving the likes, folks. I'm loving them. I'm eating them up. All righty, then. Hey, it looks like weather forecast today, and the weather forecast is going to be brought to you by Refreshing Word Fellowship Church. Refreshing Word Fellowship Church is a non-denominational Christian church located at 2054 Campus Drive in St. Charles, Missouri. That's right, uh, it's pastored by ordained Pastor John Schumer. Refreshing Word Fellowship Church holds their Sunday services at 11 a.m. on Sundays, which is quite fitting because that's why they're called Sunday services. And then uh, they also have an hour of power prayer at uh, 1.30 to 2.30 on Thursdays. So, come on in to Refreshing Word Fellowship Church and enjoy the uh, praise and worship and enjoy the message, the most important parts of the message. But you get the feeling that God's in the house and Jesus is in the house and everybody's in the house as long as you've got uh, the praise and worship and the spirit of flowing through your bones. Amen. Well, and Amen. All right, then, let's see what else we got going on. Here's that weather forecast I thought I'd deliver to you today. Well, you know, it got up to be in them 91s. Phew, I tell you, it was hot out there. I did go out today. I went to some places, and I'll tell you about that here in a short. Uh, first off, we'll catch that weather up for you. The weather uh, today uh, was 91 degrees. Hot, boy, hot. But that's okay. It's going to be clearing off and cooling down. Clear skies with low temperatures around 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be light and variable. And then for Tuesday, September the 28th, sunny skies, very warm. Highs again around 92 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will be light and variable south to southwest at about 5 miles per hour. Mostly clear skies overnight with low temperatures around 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds, again, will be light and variable south to southeast at about 4 miles per hour. And then for Wednesday, uh, September the 29th, sunny skies along with a few clouds. Very warm. High temperatures around 90 degrees again. Winds are going to be south to east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then partly cloudy skies overnight with low temperatures around 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will be light and variable east to southeast at approximately 6 miles per hour. And then for Thursday, temperatures aren't going to drop off that much, but they will drop off. Part of the cloudy skies in the morning will give way to a cloudy sky during the afternoon. 
Stray shower or thunderstorm is quite possible. High temperatures are going to be around 84 degrees Fahrenheit with winds southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mostly cloudy skies early and then partly cloudy in the afternoon uh, near after midnight. Low temperatures around 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will be light and variable east to southeast at about 5 miles per hour. And then Friday, September the, I mean October the 1st. September the 1st, we're starting over again, huh? October the 1st, intervals of clouds and sunshine. High temperatures around 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will be southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And a few clouds with uh, low temperatures around 61 degrees Fahrenheit overnight. Winds will be light and variable southeast at about 5 miles per hour. And then for our final day of our five-day forecast, Saturday, October the 2nd, some fun in the morning with uh, increasing clouds during the afternoon, slight chances of rain showers with high temperatures of 81 degrees Fahrenheit, winds will be south at 5 to 10 miles per hour, and then variable clouds with thunderstorms, especially overnight, low temperatures around 63 degrees Fahrenheit, Winds are going to be uh, uh, light and variable southwest at approximately 5 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 40%. So, you know, whether or not we're going to get the heavy rain, we don't know for sure, for sure, for sure. Oh, hey, this just in, uh, survival rate of COVID is 99.94. That's right. So COVID uh, is like... Z- uh, zero point zero, uh, zero point zero five percent chance of death from COVID. Those are small numbers, folks, compared to what the numbers are, and that's with or without the vaccine. So I'm not saying don't get your vaccine, but I'm not saying you. I'm also saying that you don't really have to. All right. Well, all righty then. I told you I'd tell you about my uh, outgoings today. Well, I tell you what. A shower chair is something very important to this here quadriplegic type feller because, well, I can't go in the shower without one. So, tell you what, I had some clicking and popping noises in the shower chair on my wheel, and well, we decided we better take a look and see what was going on inside that wheel. Well, we popped that bolt off of there, and we took a look at that chair, and come to find out one of my bearings was totally ruined, falled apart. And it was a, a sealed bearing at that. So when you got ball bearings rolling around in your, and whenever you take your wheel off and they come falling out on the ground, and you've got a, a sealed bearing and its ball bearings came out, you're in trouble, folks. But I tell you what I done. I gave myself a ticked it out on the uh, internet there, and I found a little place called Motion Industries. Uh, in uh, over there at Earth City. That's right. They're located at uh, 13724 Shoreline uh, Court uh, East. Shoreline Court East um, in Earth City, Missouri. Hey, I tell you what. I talked to Mo on the phone and Mo, he knew what Mo I needed. It was Mo from Mo Industries. And uh, I said, hey Mo, this is Shannon No. I, I need a burn, sure enough, too. So anyway, he hung up on me. Well, okay, I'm going to give you the reason he hung up on me. My backup speaker, my microphone was on. And well, when my microphone's on, I've got a little bit of a, uh extra volume and a playback on it so that it gives a tiny bit of feedback. Well, if I make a call on my Bluetooth, I get a lot of feedback, and Mo hung up on me on account of the squealing in his ears was driving him nuts. He was hoping I'd call back, and which I did. So anyway, we loaded up, me and my uh, friend Beverly loaded up me in the van, and we took me on off over there to our city. And i uh, tell you what, Mo, uh, Mo was not at the door. Nope, not sure why Mo didn't answer the door, but the first person I saw was, uh, well, <laughs> Scuba Dave. That's right. I know Scuba Steve. Scuba Steve right there. You know, and Scuba Steve said, Come on in. <laughs> the water is fine. So he opened up the door and we slipped on in there. And 
put on our masks to get in the door. And of course, you got to do that, St. Louis uh, County. But anyway, we got in that door there, and, and we was looking for Mo. Mo come out of his little cage over in the corner. They don't keep him in the cage. He just likes being in the cage. It's his own little corner compartment, and he likes it. But anyway, it was a good thing that we went over there because I was thinking about going out to um, Harbor Freight or uh, Home Depot or somewhere and just picking up a bearing. No sir, Bob. This was a specialty bearing, and he had to put the micrometer on it and come to find out. I could have just, the one that I wanted, uh, that I told him it was an inch, well, it was an inch uh, diameter, but the interior diameter was not a half inch. So he checked her out, and he picked me out some good ones, and he said, well, uh, we can't have cash. we got to use plastic. And, well, at that point in time, I just so happened to have only $100 in my bank account, and I said, yeah. this is not going to set me back too bad, is it? And he shot me down that special price. It's the Mo discount. No, actually, it's just regular price. So I picked up my bearings, and we headed back home, and my roommate, uh, Nate, he done put uh, that chair back together again. And guess what? Chairs are rolling fine. So tomorrow morning, when it's time for that shower, I got Mo and Scoob Steve to thank for that right there. And, well, of course, Beverly and, and Nate. You can't forget them. And then, well, after I left there, I didn't put the chair, I didn't go straight home and put the chair together. I stopped in over there to uh, uh, Dollar General. And, well, over to Dollar General, I had some help over there, too. Had a couple of gals over there. Uh, well, Nikki was one of them, and I can't remember the other one's name. But anyway, <laughs> we picked up some a uh, hammer and some WD-40 because we was having a little problem getting the uh, inside part of the... Uh, bearing off the bolt the uh, the uh, inside sleeve of the uh, bearing off the bolt so we had to knock it out WD-40 did work for it just fine but I couldn't find my hammer nowhere so I picked up an, uh, another hammer come to find out I found my hammer on the, when I got back home it was in the ba back of my van so got me a nice new yaller hammer from Dollar General but that's alright I digress <laughs> Um, anyway, we got everything hooked up. Nikki was so helpful. She was grabbing brushes and rubber suction cups and all kinds of stuff that I was looking for also. And, uh, so I have to give them a shout out over there at the Dollar General there on Fifth Street. So, there you go. There's your shout out, girls. All right, all right, all right. Now then, let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, looks like events, and who is our event? Uh, who is our event uh, sponsor? Well, you know it. It's none other than Seasonal Reese by Jamie. Yes, Seasonal Reese by Jamie. Jamie is a crank the crafty gal, and she makes up wreaths for each and every season. Holiday decorations, not all just. I mean, uh, football season and ho hockey season and soccer season and basketball season and all the seasons. You pick out your favorite team, you let her know she can rustle you up some uh, 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 projects that will adjust some crafts that will look just spectacular, I tell you. So, go on Facebook, Seasonal Reese by Jamie. Take a look and peruse her site and see what you might be interested in. Alrighty, well alrighty then. Renaissance Festival, yep, that's still going. It's going to be going for up until October the uh, 17th. So don't forget to get out to the Renaissance Festival out there at Rotary Park in uh, Wentzville, Missouri. That's right, 70, uh, 2577 West Meyer Road, Wentzville, Missouri. Uh, they run from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on every Saturday and Sunday. All right, uh, from now in through till October the 17th. Okie dokie, that's the St. Louis Renaissance Festival, a long time standing event that brings you the adventures and excitement and spirit of the Renaissance. Travel back in time, if you will, step into the beautifully wooded 16th century Finch Villa called Petit Lyon 
and thrilled to the exploits of jousting knights on thundering steeds as they joust each other upon their with their uh, armor their suits of armor as they go flying from the horses and roam the villages and shops of unique crafts in as the artisans demonstrate their period skills like blacksmithing and woodworking. Yes, delight to the comedy of, of magic, the comedy, the uh, music, and more on the nine stages of nonstop entertainment. Feast on delicious foods and drinks from the far reaches of the globe. And interact with the colorful villagers, nobles, peasants, and characters of ages past. So there you have it. Come on out to the uh, St. Louis Renaissance Festival and enjoy. There's always something for everyone out there. So there you have it. Now, something that's really special to me, I really love the uh, Legends and Lanterns down on Main Street here in town because I tell you, October 9th through October 10th is the only, they're only going to be down there for two week, uh, two uh, for a weekend, folks, uh, this year. And I don't know why, but it's going to be fun times, you know, free. It's all free. But uh, Saturday uh, at 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sunday from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Well, also Friday from 5 to 8 p.m. So they will be October 9th through 11. Um, because it says reoccurring weekly on Saturday and Sunday. Um but it only gives one two days so i don't know anyway it is great because now there's legends and lanterns those are the halloween spooks and and folks like that and then there's this christmas season they do the same thing with santa clauses and stuff from all around the world and all kinds of uh uh sugar plum fairies and uh choirs and um the like uh inspirational singers and all kinds of beautiful stuff on in, during Christmas so come on down to Main Street in St. Charles it's my hometown and I sure am proud of it finding its inspiration from the past these festivals will offer a vintage charm of Halloween in the 1910s through the 1930s to the historical rituals and customs brought to the holiday by the Druids and the Victorians to the thorough atmosphere depicted in American ghost stories and the Brothers Grimm fairy tales. This event will offer a fun for guests of all ages, a little silly, a little um, macabre, but all in all good fine fun. Legends and Lanterns will allow visitors to get into the spirit of All Hallows Eve. The festival will feature scarecrows, hayrides uh, through history, and ghostly guests with historic Main Street as its backdrop. It says here Saturday uh, 10 through 9, uh, it's going to be uh, from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Sunday 10 through 10, it's going to be, oh, so they're going to be running for a little while. So, yeah, they their uh, thing up there doesn't say it right because they're going to be running through Sunday the uh, 24th so every weekend they will be out there saturday uh saturday from uh the 10th at, from 9 a.m to 6 p.m sunday the 10 uh 10 10 october 9th there we go october 9th uh from 11 a.m to 6 p.m october 10th from 2 uh, 12 p.m to 5 p.m saturday october the 16th from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. I got a wedding to be at that day, so I'm not going to be there. My daughter will be getting married that day. Uh, Sunday, uh, October the 17th. And um, they'll be open from 12 to 5 p.m. Friday, October the 22nd, from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Saturday, October the 23rd, from 11 a.m. through uh, uh, 8 p.m. And Sunday, October 24th, from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. So, Legends and Lanterns, down on Main Street. Come on down and enjoy the spooky, spook festival. All kinds of, oh, I tell you, there's even a mermaid, it looks like, on there. So, anyway, 
that there's it. And okay. And how about this one? Uh, we're going to tell our story time. And our story time, well, that's generally uh, brought to us today by Nobody Left Out, a book by Michael Murray, available on Amazon.com. It's a 40-day devotional book telling about eight different people who had their encounters with Jesus, including Michael himself. Looks like a good read, so if uh, you all have a have an idea that Jesus doesn't live, live or doesn't exist, well, God is alive and so is Jesus. So, pick up the book Nobody Left Out by Michael Murray. All right, all righty then, here we go. This is it, this is our story. Come on, kids, climb up on the couch and listen to TV Grandpa. That's right, Grandpa Shen is coming to you again. Uh, here we go. Uh, today we're going to have uh, a Buddha. What? This is a story with morals. Uh, once upon a time, long ago, when animal sacrifices were quite popular, there lived a priest, and just as many before him, this priest believed that beheaded, beheading one, beheading one or some animals as a sacrifice was a good deed. So he gathered the required number of goats for a sacrifice. Well, before the goats could be beheaded, he thought they should have a bath. And so he ordered some servants to take the goats to the holy river. On their way into the sacred river, one of the goats suddenly realized uh, that something you see, this goat had been a priest in a previous life a long time ago, and he too had been had be had to be head many animals <laughs> as in in your sacrifice. So he truly believed that God wanted their heads also. <laughs> so that goat began to laugh. And as he laughed, he realized a sad truth, due to which he began to cry. This attracted the servant's attention. Why do you laugh and cry? They asked the goat. And the goat told them that he would answer only if their master were present. Right there. And so the priests came running. Well, then the goat began talking about his realization. I used to be a priest, too he told the priest, and I too had offered many animal sacrifices as a result. I lost my head in all my past lives, and I should lose my head once more today. Now, see, this is scary. Well, the priest was beginning to understand that he had been mistaken. He canceled the sacrifices and told the goat that the goat was safe. No harm will come to your way. You have my word. But the goat told the priest that his misdeed of killing animals for no reason had not been washed away. Now, <laughs> so although the goat had realized his mistake, his misdeed was too great, and he still had to be punished. So, even so, the priest let the goats go. The priest even ordered some servants to take care of the goats. Thus, the goats roamed around in the Rocky Mountains. All of a sudden, a thunderbolt struck the goat out of the blue, clear blue sky, killing him instantly. A fairy happened to be nearby, who, on seeing this, said, Finally, this soul has been punished for the ignorant killing of animals from his life before. See, we used to have, uh, we, I say, the, uh, the um, law of God had, at, that, at one point in time, had sacrifices. And so, many people did this. And after Jesus came along, he was the final sacrifice. And so, therefore, people that were sacrificing these animals to other gods were doing ignorant uh, killing ignorant uh, 
killing of, of animals for uh, their entire life because they didn't know that they shouldn't have to anymore. So anyway, many people came to see what happened, and to all this, them they remembered the story of the goat who saved the priest from going the wrong way. And so there you have it, my friends. That's what happened. The priest found that no longer were sacrifices even needed because once Jesus was sacrificed on the throne, on the cross, uh, Calvary, we all were saved. I hope that uh, didn't scare you kids because, well, you know, talking about goats and beheading and whatever, but just remember, Jesus is there for you now. All right, all right. Now it looks like our daily bread portion of the program, and our daily bread portion of the program today is going to be brought to you by the Bible with Briscoe 2021. The Bible with Briscoe 2021 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Today's reading in the Bible with Briscoe 2021 will be Isaiah 3 through 4 and Galatians 6. So don't forget to tune into the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for your daily reading of the Bible. All right, uh, today is uh, the devotion is unlimited. Well, there I am, all unlimited. Well, let's see what Isaiah 40, 21 through 28 has to say about that, okay? Let's do it. Do you know? Do you not know? Have you not heard? Has it not been told to you from the beginning? Have you not understood since the earth was founded? He sits enthroned above the circle of the earth, and its people are like grasshoppers. He stretches out his, the heavens like a canopy and spreads them out like a tent to live in. He brings princesses uh, to naught and reduces the rulers of this world to nothing. No sooner are they planted, no sooner are they shown. Uh, no sooner are they planted, no sooner are they sown, no sooner do they take root in the ground than he blows them on he blows on them and they wither away, and a whirlwind sweeps them away like shaft. To whom will you compare me, or who is my equal? says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens who created all of these. Who created all of this? Oh well, he who brings out the story, the starry hosts, the one by one, and calls forth each of them by name. Because of his great power and mighty strength, no one, uh, not one of them is missing. Why do you complain, Jacob? And why do you say, Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord? My cause is disgraced and is disregarded by my God. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding uh, no one can fathom. So there you go. His understanding is limitless. It's unlimited. So that was the Daily Bread portion of the program. Uh, it was brought to you today by the Bible with Briscoe 2021. The Bible with Briscoe 2021 is the daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. So don't forget to tune in to the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for your daily reading of the Bible. Hey friends, no song for tonight. I just don't feel like throwing one in there. You're welcome, Craig. Uh, I do have one song for you, and that'd be this one. It's the end one. It's the tagline sh show for the Shen Show, so it's got to go. Ready or not, here we go. Uh, hey friends, uh, hey. Uh, well, goodbye, my friends. It's uh, time to go. I love you. goodbye, my friends. It's uh, time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. 
All righty then, there we have it. That's it. That's the Shinsho in the nutshell, or the nut on the Shinsho, whatever. Here we go. That's it. That's all. We're done. I said, uh, okay, friends. Looks like uh, this here has been Shenandoah saying hello and how are you. Thanks for tuning in to the Shin Show. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come on back and see me again tomorrow because, well, hey, I'll be here. And I hope that you are too.